Hello everyone, welcome back to Make Pen Advanced Tubing with me, Fritz. Today we are going to be doing advanced terrain. So this is the type of terrain that you'd want to do if you want to, you know, save ink in a room or if you want to just make something look really nice, but it shouldn't be as enclosed as, you know, a tiny, you know, a more detailed. So let's kick this off. First of all, we're going to want to grab our maker pen, open up the palette right here open palette and that'll bring us to this screen so in your palette what you're going to want to do is go to the settings go over have the settings like this and you've already went over this in the previous video but go over here to the second page on second page i'd move my tube facets down to four and then move this all the way up to about eight there we go now it is optional to have tubing uh, smooth tubes on or having um, again uniform shape but if you want to make it look more natural have uniform shape off that'll make it have the little swirly effect so as for this smooth tubes off I like to work with it off so it looks a little bit more kind of choppy and nice though so what we're going to want to do is have your maker pen out fully and I keep mine off grid for the most part. Now, what I do for some part of this is I turn around in a circle slowly while moving my make in a different direction. If you want to see up close, I'll show you. It will look something around this angle like that. Just a four facet tubing like that. Then from here, what we do is we'll typically do maybe another layer or two just up like this and this can be very good for cliff sides or anything that you want to do maybe involving water like a waterfall so there we go there's one more and we'll do one more and we're done so there we go we have this all done complete this is what our terrain is going to look like and then we clone it out and yes that is using the clone too and we're going to place it just above the other one and as soon as it's placed above the other one you press scale and you're going to select the top one scale it up a little bit and then move it into its place like this And there we go. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is to do your recoloring. I like to grab a personal dark green right there. Grab it on. And then I'll go to material. And then I'll click dirt. And that will cause the top layer to look like that and now for the next layer you want to open up your palette again have it open and then for material you're going to want to have it on again dirt and then you can move it to the last page you'll find these people sometimes put it to this which i typically kind of don't like personally but you know you do you here. there we go and there we have it it's some terrain now if you want personally you can manipulate it a little bit and you know do a little bit of readjusting but personally i like how it usually ends out in the end just look like that and then upscale it some nice terrain done completely by tubing and this all together will not cost much ink at all so if you really want to you can make this for big big um kind of divots in the ground or else if you want to do some type of ravine you could easily do it with this type of tubing so here we are again thank you this is nick and advanced number two for tubing 
I hope you all enjoyed and learned something from this, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace, peace.